So what do we do with this album now? In case you have not heard the breaking news yet, Spencer Eldon, the man who appears on Nirvana's Nevermind cover, is suing Nirvana for using this picture. And I'm going to be explaining to you why he is suing Nirvana for using this picture for their album cover. Spencer Eldon, the man who was photographed as a baby on the album cover for Nirvana's Nevermind, is suing the band alleging sexual exploitation. Now 30, Eldon says his parents never signed a release authorizing the use of his image on the album. He also alleges the nude image constitutes to child P. This is what Spencer's lawyer even said as well. However, Eldon's lawyer, Robert Y. Lewis, argues that the inclusion of the dollar bill, which was superimposed after the photograph was taken, makes the minor seem like a sex worker. Okay. Eldon alleges his true identity and legal name are forever tied to the commercial exploitation he experienced as a minor which has been distributed and sold worldwide from the time he was a baby till the present day. He claims he has suffered and will continue to suffer lifelong damages as a result of the artwork including extreme and permanent emotional distress as well as interference with his normal development. There has of course been a lot of discourse surrounding the current situation at hand due to the fact that Spencer has recreated this photo photo many times during his teenage years and adult years. Spencer even has this large tattoo going across his chest saying never mind. Another problem is is that so many people own the album. So it's a situation where it's like what's going to happen now? Because he's asking for $150,000 from 15 defendants and he is basing this claim off of child exploitation and CP which are super super serious allegations to be making against a band who was completely and utterly against that. This is even receiving so much scrutiny from legal experts themselves, stating, I've never seen a more offensive, frivolous lawsuit in the history of my career, said a lawyer whose clients include people victimized by pedo priests. Boy Scout leaders, this is genuinely such an insane case. Like what's going to happen to the people who own the album if this case actually actually proceeds into a real court of law. There is an article that I wanted to quickly add in too because it's a little interesting. The former baby from Nirvana's famous album cover was motivated to sue after the band blew off his art show. I get wanting to have a payday from something, but I just have a massive problem with the claims because wouldn't it fall on his parents as opposed to the band themselves. If anything, shouldn't Spencer's parents be held accountable at least a little bit if he's going as far as to suing the band, pretty much. Hi, I'm Spencer Eldon and I'm the Nirvana baby. Do you think it's, has it been a positive thing? Has it got its advantages? Yeah, definitely. It's always opened doors and just people have always been kind of like first step on a good foot, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know, it's just always kind of like, not really, it's always a good thing to have. What's it like, you know, all these, knowing all these people would have seen you naked? What is it like having the idea that a lot of people have seen my baby penis um, when I was a baby? Well, I'm not really a baby anymore, so... From an article on GQ, somebody asked Spencer, in the past you said it was cool. When did that change? Spencer is quoted saying, just a few months ago. When I was reaching out to Nirvana to see if they wanted to be a part of my art show, I was getting referred to their managers and their lawyers. Why am I still on their cover if I'm not that big of a deal? I obviously sympathize with him if he is feeling any emotional pain from it, but it seems like he is doing this out of spite because Nirvana doesn't want anything to do with him. It has been such a long time, dude. And if they don't want to do anything with you, they're not obligated to just because you were on the cover of something that's sold worldwide. I mean, it's starting to sound like to me he thinks he's the reason that the album sold so much. I mean, it's the music on there. Quite frankly, if the album cover was just 
like a blank black square or a blank pink square. It wouldn't matter because the album is great itself. It has nothing to do with what the cover is. I, I just, I really don't know what to say about this. So if you're wanting to add on to anything that I've said in this video, you most certainly can in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Make sure to take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.